and the fire's out. Welcome back, everybody. The fire's out because of carbon dioxide gas. Now, normally, a fire extinguisher that you uh, might be familiar with has powder inside. But look at this. This has carbon dioxide gas. How does it work? Fire needs oxygen, and carbon dioxide displaces the oxygen. I'm gonna show you how to make your own fire extinguisher. You're gonna need a couple cylinders like this. Let's start first by seeing that we can control the air that's inside the cylinder by simply just uh, testing whether or not it supports combustion. Watch this. No problem at all. And how about this one here? No problem at all. Because it's just the air that we breathe. Now, let's fill this one with carbon dioxide. So the best way to do that is a little bit of baking soda. Um, proportions are not exact, so a couple scoops here. Good. And we're gonna need some vinegar. And the trick is to add not too much vinegar. You don't want it to bubble over, but you want it to push out all of the gas. Bingo. All right, let's test to see how this works. So we light the stick. Looks good. No problem here. But watch what happens when we go here, watch. Bingo, it's out. So now here's where it gets pretty fun. Now watch this. Let's take the gas. You can see a little bit of smoke writing in there. Let's pour the gas into this empty container here. So now all the carbon dioxide leaves this cylinder. And now since it's heavier than the air that we breathe, it displaces all this gas here. So if it really works, watch what happens. This should stay lit. Bingo. And now watch. Bam. And that's your homemade fire extinguisher. Now, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. So here are 100 candles and a way bigger cylinder of carbon dioxide. Oh yeah, and did I mention a blowtorch? see if the carbon dioxide can put them out. Watch. There it goes, there it goes. Come on. There it goes. And the last one, that's 100, out with carbon dioxide.